Hi guys, so I'm finally back from Florida and I'm super super excited to be sitting down here and recording a video for you and also to show you all the things that I bought from America. I did buy quite a lot of stuff so this video is probably going to be quite a long video but I did really enjoy my time in America. It was so nice and hot, it was like 27, 28 degrees pretty much every single day and then I get off the aeroplane and I come home and it is snowing. No joke, for the last couple of days it has been snowing. I think it was Wednesday when we pretty much had a blizzard and we had giant chunks of snow that are about this big so it's absolutely freezing over here and if you notice a little bit of a difference in my voice I do have a cold and my nose is blocked up my throat hurts my ears I can't even hear out of one of my ears but that's what you get for coming back home in the snow so it's really fun times at the moment so when I went to America I did so many different things I did things that I hadn't done before so we went to medieval times and we had a dinner show and then we've also done things that we've done before so we went to Universal Studios and things like that but I will be putting up all of my vlogs on this channel which is my main channel and the reason for that is because a lot of my subscribers aren't subscribed to my vlog channel and you do want to see some of my vlogs from Florida and they might help you out to choose some different things if you're going to Florida soon and you don't know what to do so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything that I purchased from America the first thing that I'm going to show you are the makeup products because I have a lot of makeup products so the first things that I'm going to show you are the things that I purchased from Mac and they did give me quite a big bag considering the things that I bought because I didn't buy a lot of stuff so from the main shop I bought two lipsticks and I also bought the MAC Fix Plus and loads of people have said how good this is, some people set their makeup with this and some people spray it on their brushes before they use eyeshadows just to make them look a little bit more opaque and apparently it gives it a better look. So I decided to get the small version which is I think about $10 and I didn't want to buy the giant size because I didn't know if it was going to work and this is pretty good for a makeup kit and because I was coming back from America I was travelling this is probably the best thing to get because it doesn't take up a lot of room and it's pretty tiny as well. And I also bought two lipsticks from MAC as well. The first one that I got is called Tropic Tonic and this is the one that I'm wearing at the moment and this is a matte shade and it's a really gorgeous corally pink colour. It's really good for spring and summer and I was just hoping that it was going to be really nice and springy when we got back home but I was very wrong. It's pretty much like winter so yeah I am still wearing this at the moment. This is a gorgeous shade. My mum loved it as soon as I put it on she was like that is amazing. I love coral shades and I just think that this is a gorgeous colour. It stays on a long time it doesn't dry out your lips either it's really nice and moisturizing and it just looks very very opaque which I love and the other color that I have is sushi kiss and this is a satin finish and this is what it looks like because so it's very similar to this one that I'm wearing on my lips at the moment it's just a little bit more peachy than coral so this is what it looks like and it's a gorgeous sort of peachy orangey color and I just think that this is gorgeous and when I put this on my lips in the shop I was like I need to have this my mum liked the color and it stays on a very long time it gives you a really nice sheen and the other lipstick that I got was from an outlet store so they sell all the limited edition lipsticks that aren't out anymore and things like that and loads of different makeup brands and this is the one that I got and it's in the shade Morange and I've wanted this shade for a very very long time as you can see it's a gorgeous orange shade and that's what it looks like swatched on my arm and just look at how amazing that is it looks so good for spring and summer and this is an amplified cream finish and from Sephora I only bought two things but as you can see they gave me a giant bag again for this so the first thing that I got is this Sephora Kiss me lip balm and this is in the shade cotton candy and this is so gorgeous just look at how nice that shade is and I'm going to swatch it for you as well I did wear this all around the theme parks because I thought it was a really nice colour you get a really nice sheen it's very moisturising as well and I think this was only about $6 so I'm trying to get some of these shipped over to England because I really like these. My mum loved the way that they looked on my lips, they stayed on a very long time and like I said they were very moisturising and the colour is so nice. And the other thing that I got is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Beloved. I have two of these now and I think these are absolutely gorgeous. I did loads of different swatches in the store, I pretty much swatched everything that was there. I swatched Bow and Arrow, they didn't have any more of those left but I don't think it would have suited my skin tone, I think it's a little bit too nude for me. But this this is what Beloved looks like and it's a gorgeous hot pink shade and that's the swatch of it right there and it literally looks the same colour as my jumper which is really crazy but these are incredible they stay on all day they don't flake off or anything like that they don't dry out the lips they stay on through eating and drinking and I have so many compliments when I'm wearing this and the last things that I purchased are from Walmart and Target and they are in these two giant bags so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the brands and let you know what I got from different brands because I did get quite a lot of drugstore products so from Wet n Wild I got a couple of things and the first thing that I got is this Wet n Wild dual ended contour stick and I got this from Walmart and it was exclusive to Walmart and this 
is in the shade light to medium and I tried this out and I loved it straight away and I went back to Walmart I went to so many different ones and they didn't even have this this was exclusive to Walmart and I could not find it anywhere else but this is what it looks like so on one side you have the contour and on the other side you have the highlight I haven't used the highlight only because it is extremely white and I don't know how it's going to look on my skin so this is what the contour looks like right there and then this is what the highlighter looks like there but these are incredible and for four dollars you can't really complain and they smudge out very very well they blend very well as well and they don't look cakey or anything like that they just look really good I also got another contour product from Wet n Wild as well and this is the Mega Glow Contouring Palette and this is in the shade Dolce D Leash and this is what it looks like I haven't even swatched it at the moment but you get the banana shade on this side and then it looks like you get sort of like a warm toned contour right there it looks quite dark for my skin and I am self tanned at the moment my self tan is coming off a little bit but this looks really good because if you don't know how to contour they have all of the directions on the back as well and I think this is only about four dollars which is literally incredible but as soon as I open this I am going to be doing swatches on my blog because I have a little thing about opening products just to swatch them I like to use them first and then swatch them in a video or in a blog post so Keep your eyes peeled for my blog post because all of these products will be swatched on there as well. And I also have a new colour icon blush from Wet n Wild and this is in the shade Pearlescent Pink. And this is what it looks like. It looks very much like Spring Sheen from MAC. And I think that's what draws me to this because it has flecks of gold glitter in it and it's a really gorgeous pinky shade. So this is always what works really well on my skin tone. So hopefully this is going to be really good. It does have a new formula and I know that Casey Holmes raves about these. So that's what made me want to buy these blushes. And the last thing that I have from Wet n Wild is the One Step Wonder Gel nail varnish and this is what it looks like it's in the shade it's sherbet day and it's what I'm wearing on my nails at the moment and this is a gorgeous hot pink shade it does last quite a few days as well I do notice that with a lot of nail varnishes they tend to chip on the same day but this lasts about three days before it tends to chip and I just like the colour of this I really like the formula of it as well it's quite thick which is really good and like I said it doesn't chip it just looks really really nice and yeah just look at how gorgeous that colour is and from e.l.f. I have quite a few products as well and over here e.l.f. is quite expensive I think it's double the price of dollars over here in the UK which is pretty crazy when you think that the exchange rate is a little bit different the first thing that I have is the high definition powder and I wanted this for a very long time because I did run out of my Makeup Forever HD powder and that was really good but I didn't want to spend the money on it again because I think it's quite expensive so this is what the e.l.f. one looks like and you get the little powder puff in there I have used this and this is really really good it minimizes my pores it makes me look really nice and matte and it keeps my foundation on for a little bit longer as well I also have the contouring blush and bronzing powder duo and this is in the shade Fiji now I wasn't quite sure how this was going to look on my skin because this is a matte one so I did want to have a contour one but it does look quite dark as you can see on there and I am super super pale so I'm going to open it up just to have a look what it looks like I haven't actually used this at the moment so this is what the packaging looks like and it just looks really nice and sleek and then when you open it up you get a giant mirror in there and then you get the two different colours in here and I think the blush looks really very really nice and then the contour doesn't look as warm toned as I thought it would do it looks very very cool toned which is really good and it doesn't look too dark as you can see it looks like it's going to go very well on my skin and I have another palette from e.l.f. as well and this is a blush palette in the shade light and you get four different blushes in here and I have used two of these shades and I have to say I am so impressed in the formulas and these are literally incredible and like I said I've used two of them and the one that I'm wearing today is this one which is the brownish one and it just looks really nice as you can see on there it looks really pigmented it looks like a very nice colour and the other shade that I've used is this one and I think the reason why I used this one was because it really reminded me of Max Spring Sheen but a little bit darker so that's what they look like and as you can see these are very very pigmented you don't need a lot of this product you only need a little bit and it fans out very well it blends amazingly and it stays on a very long time as well and the last thing that I got from e.l.f. is a lip exfoliator and the reason I got this was because my lips were super super dry and I don't have my Lush lip exfoliator anymore but this is what it looks like, it just looks like a lipstick, it has sugar on it, it smells gorgeous, it exfoliates amazingly and I use this pretty much every day my lips are so nice and smooth they smell gorgeous and this actually tastes really nice as well. I also got a couple of products from Maybelline and the first thing that I got is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and I have two different shades of this, I've tried this out and I absolutely love this, this 
is a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear. It makes my skin look really nice and flawless. I have two different shades. I have 112, which is natural ivory, and 128, which is warm nude. Because this is great for me when I'm really self tanned like I was on holiday. And this one is really good for when I'm porcelain. And yeah, these just look incredible. My makeup stays on a very long time, almost as long as the Estee Lauder. And I also have the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I have another one of these, but this is in the shade Fair. Because you can't get Fair over here in the UK. You can only get light and nude. And the light one is too dark for me when I'm not self tanned. And this literally looks like it's going to be the correct shade for me. This is incredible stuff. And I have a couple of different products from some different brands. And the first thing that I have is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. I've heard so much about this, but you can't get this over here in the UK. So I took advantage of when I went to America. I did get a $2 off coupon and then I managed to find it for, I think, $12.99. So in the end, it just cost me over $10. And I've wanted to try this for a very long time and I'm not sure how it's going to go on my oily skin I couldn't find a colour for when I'm not self tanned The light shade that they did was N2 and this is in the shade W3 So this is the shade that I should be when I'm self tanned If you want me to do a first impression on this and I'll do it I'm really excited to try this out And from Covergirl I got the Super Sizer Mascara And I've heard so many amazing things on this And I did again get coupons for this I think this one only cost me like 3 50 Because I had two different coupons that I could use in one go and I haven't tried this out yet but so many people have said how good it is and I thought if I really like this mascara I'm gonna get two because you can't really get it over here in the UK it's so expensive and I thought this is gonna be a great thing for me to get so hopefully this is gonna be good I will do a first impression on this as well because I'm just so excited to try this out and yeah I just can't wait to try it I also have the Milani Bait Blush in the shade Luminoso and I've wanted this for a very very long time and I searched ages in Walmart and Target for this and I managed to find it in one Walmart and I just had to pick up straight away because this is literally sold out everywhere all of the Milani Bait Blushes are literally sold out so I was so happy when I managed to get this it just looks like a gorgeous pinky shade and I got this eyebrow pencil from Flower Cosmetics and this is in the shade Dark Brunette the reason why I got this is because my brow pencil had run out and I didn't have a sharpener and I thought I want to try something that looks a little bit like the brow wiz and this looks pretty much identical so i haven't tried this out yet but this looks really really good and yeah i think this was cheaper than the nyx products anyway so i decided to pick this one up and the last beauty products that i have are from eos and i have a couple of the lip balms and this one is the passion fruit lip balm and these two are the blackberry nectar lip balms as well and i wanted to try these ones for a long time because i haven't seen these anywhere over here and these are super super affordable they're so expensive over here i think they're like six pounds for these lip balms and you can pick them up for like three dollars in america so i picked up quite a few of them and i like these they keep me really nice and moisturized have a really nice smell and they look like an egg which is great so that's all the beauty products that I got and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the rest of the things that I purchased so I went to a couple of outlet stores and I have a giant bag full of stuff that I got so the first place that I went into was Ralph Lauren and I purchased two jumpers and this is one of them that I'm wearing at the moment and it's a hot pink one and I also have a white version of it as well so this is what the white version looks like and it just looks like really nice material it's a really nice pattern as well and then you also get the logo on there as well and these were super affordable these for only $20. I love the way that these look. They really jazz up an outfit and they just look so expensive. I really like these. I've worn them so many times and I just think that they look really, really good. And the other things that I got are some t-shirts. The first thing that I got was this one here and this is pretty crumpled at the moment because I've already worn this. So it's just a grey v-neck top and it's really nice material and you also get the logo on it right there. These were only $10 each which is literally incredible like I said already with the jumpers and then I also got this one here which is another v-neck and it's a pink sort of like salmon pink one and then it's got stars and circles on it as well and then it's got a logo on it there as well which looks really nice I love these they just are so simple so casual and they still look really nice as well we also went into the Lindor shop and if you've been in any outlet stores in Florida you know that if you go to the Lindor shop they will give you a chocolate every single time that you go in and my mum just kept going in there all the time to get a free chocolate so we looked at all the different chocolates and I have so many different flavors and we decided to take advantage of an offer so I have one of these giant bags I think you get 75 in there and basically you buy three of these you get two of them free and it worked out to be $18 each for these giant bags we got five of them I have one my cousin has one and my mom my auntie shared three between them these are absolutely incredible chocolates so this is just the original flavor and we also got the cookies and cream which is also 
so really nice. When I went to Universal Studios, I went to Harry Potter World, and then I went to the new one as well at the old Universal Studios Park, and I got some butterbeer there, and honestly, I love butterbeer. It tastes really strange, it's sort of like caramel, and I got the one that's a frozen one. You can get four different ones, so you can get a warm one, you can get a cold one, you can get a frozen one, and then one with ice cream. And I decided to get the frozen one, which tasted really nice, but it's very sickly, so me and my mum had to try and sit there and drink it all. And I also got the cup with it as well, and I think this is an extra $6 for the cup. But just look at how amazing this is. It's a really nice, cheap souvenir that you can get from Harry Potter World, and I have been using this constantly since I got back. I've I've actually been putting pineapple juice and lemonade in it and I've been like look mum I made my own butter beer and it tastes nothing like butter beer but it does look a little bit like it and I just really enjoyed Harry Potter World. I love Universal Studios, I love Islands of Adventure and it was just an incredible experience to go to the new Harry Potter World because I haven't been to the one at the old park before and it was just so good and we went on the new Escape from Gringotts ride as well and that was really good as well. I just absolutely loved my time in Universal Studios I only have two things left and the first thing that I got was from Downtown Disney or as it's called now Disney Springs and I have a giant bag but I only actually have one thing in here and I saw this and I knew straight away that I had to have it my sister was like you're so sad you need to grow up I was like no I don't and my mum absolutely loved it as soon as she saw it so this is what I got and it's an aerial pillow and just look at how gorgeous this is I haven't seen this over here and I love it so much it's huge it feels really nice it's silky it just looks so cute as well and you undo it at the back right here and then you have your pillow pop out and I just love this I just think it's amazing and it's a really great souvenir from Disney as well and as you guys know I love The Little Mermaid it's my favourite movie and Ariel is my favourite Disney princess I saw this in one of the Disney stores and I was like I have to have that I almost screamed and when I bought it the lady said to me this is so cute she was like I would have thought Snow White would have been your favourite I was like no this one is my favourite and it's been my favourite since I was a little I just love this and I just think it's so cute just look at that and the last thing that I got is the thing that I'm most excited for and it's basically the only thing that I wanted to buy from America and this is my new Michael Kors bag I just absolutely love Michael Kors and every time that I go to Florida I have to get a new Michael Kors bag and the last time I went was two years ago and my Michael Kors bag that I got two years ago it's not getting horrible or anything like that but I just wanted to get a new one because it's black and it's just very simple and I just wanted to get something that had a different color and was really good for spring and summer and pretty much all of the different seasons as well so the bag that I got is good for spring summer autumn and winter which I absolutely love so this is my new Michael Kors bag and I think this is a Safiano large tote and I just love this as soon as I saw it I was just in love there were two different shades that they had they had this really nice red one and then it also had like a watermelon red as well and I wasn't sure which one I wanted and I actually posted a photo to my Facebook my personal Facebook page and I was like which one do I get and a lot of people said this one and a lot of people said the watermelon one but I thought this one is just gonna get through all of the different seasons it's a gorgeous red shade and I just fell in love with it as soon as I saw it so you get the logo on here it's red it's also gold so it's great for winter as well it looks really Christmassy and you also get the extra strap on it as well if you want to put it over your shoulder which I love because that's what I do with all of my bags if you open it up you have the logo on the inside you also have some pockets right here as well and then if you turn it around you have some more pockets and then you have a zip as well so you can put your keys and your phone in these little pockets here and it's just so spacious it's not as big as my other bag and I just love it I just think it's incredible and this was actually reduced from $400 so I got a $400 bag before tax for $170 after tax which is incredible it's way less than half price it's a gorgeous bag and I haven't really seen that over here very much and it's just a really nice shape as well it's really classic and I just love it and I was so excited as soon as I bought it I was like oh my god and if you want to know where I got it from I did get it from the outlet stores in Florida and I just love it. I would never pay full price for a Michael Kors bag. I just think that it's so expensive. And if you can get it for half price over in America, then go ahead and do that because I love that bag. So these are the things that I got from Florida. And I'm really sorry if it's a very long video, but I did get a lot of stuff. And I did tell you at the beginning of the video that I did get a lot of stuff. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If there's anything that you want me to do first impressions on, then just comment down below to let me know. And all of the products that I got are going to be down in the info box and also my blog is going to be in the info box as well when I do some swatches for you so make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video guys bye